So Jack, it's a pleasure to have you here for this eighth edition of the Street Art Fest. And uh, well, maybe we can start by, uh, let, let us know where you come from, introduce yourself in a few words. So yeah, I'm, I'm Jack Lack, I'm uh, from Stuttgart, and uh, I paint realistic, or I try to, and combine that with the brushes to get the dirty effects of the brush together with the soft effects of the spray can. So that's your technique. Yes. Let us know a little bit more about you. How old are you? Um, so I'm 27, um, and uh, I started originally from graffiti. So it's uh, I saw you. You yeah. can say it loud here. Graffiti. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Normally I have to, you know, tone down. <laughs> so you start by proper graffiti like vandal and uh, illegal things like most of the young kids i started as a as a skater yeah but i was a horrible skater and you know when you're a horrible skater you just sit on the side and you you have to watch the other people so at some point i just started to to sketch on the bench you know with like a ball pen in the in, in the bench and then at some point the, the pen got bigger so you kind of like do proper marks and then at some point I tried my first uh, spray can and the spray can has the advantage you can go over everything so mm -hmm. that's amazing it doesn't matter if there's dust or something so I think that was the first uh, thing that I loved so much you can go big you know it can just go big and over everything I love the that there is it's not a paper you know it's a surface and it doesn't stop at the side of the paper you can just go okay. and I think that's how the how the excitement started and from then onwards I just uh, Got okay. more and more and more. <laughs> so you were doing letters or character traits? A little bit of letters at the beginning, but my letters are pretty bad. <laughs> so similar. At some point I just started to mm, try character. Mm, and that was some of my game. So I still do a lot of these cartoon characters. They're like the, you know, you turn off your head, you just go there, you just do something. And then you start with an eye, you know, don't even know what's going to be, if it's going to be a animal or a person you know it doesn't matter and it's free and then on the other hand i love the what i do here right now it's the realistic you know it's something that really keeps you keeps you together you, know, you really have to concentrate you have to everything has to be in the right place mm -hmm. and uh i love the both worlds and that they touch now in and between you were i mean did you take any lessons about to achieve this precision or skills in hyper realistic, realistic? No, not really. I think it's just doing it a lot. So I think it's, as long as it's fun, you just continue doing it and you do it more and more and more. And you become like, <laughs> you want to you do it more. And the moment you finish it, you think about what could I improve? How could I do it different? Like, how could I, yeah, change it? And I guess from in, in the graffiti scene, there's a lot, the technique is like um, valued a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's how I like trained a lot the technique. And um, I wasn't thinking that much about the, the motors for a long time. So it was just about the technique, how to make it more precise and how to get. So I think just because of the, also the graffiti world that values that technique, you know, that the, the, the can control, um, I, I pushed myself further to, to try to get more detailed and. Okay. So keep going on the technique. Now you're working, you came with your own spray gun, spray paint gun, uh, that fell apart here after two years of Good services, <laughs> well, I just died. You, you get another one, but um, yeah, that's a uh, that's kind of I don't know unusual. Most so, of the people paint with spray can, so I like two things about it. So what I really like is so for me sometimes doing a very or doing realistic things it can be a bit overwhelming. You know, it's a huge ass photo. You know, it's it's difficult for me. So what I like is to soft it down so if you have like a very strong um how you say like the the focus point basically so the background is very soft and faded um i think it becomes much more pleasant and easy to look at it's not as heavy and um so yeah and to do it bigger you can easy, either take 20 cans and just bond them in or you just take a one of the machines a gun like a spray paint gun and you just uh fade it slowly in so that's why I decided to just go with them. And it's much easier. I think that's the main reason. <laughs> that works. Yeah, it's, well, we are pretty happy that you come with this new way to paint. Or So maybe this, this kind of tools should be more democratic because it use acrylics and you don't lost anything. You don't get the cans, things like that. So Exactly. Yeah. I, I think it should be. I think for many, many artists doing big fadings and things like that, it's a nice, nice way. Also, yeah. like maybe pushes you in a different way out of your normal comfort zone, trying something different. Maybe some drips. Yeah. Yeah. Cruising from uh, festival to festivals you, with your own tools, did that 
I don't know. Do you make any students or? I mean, uh, right now I'm advertising. I'm advertising for the useless spray paint in a sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, now it's a bit difficult since I broke it. <laughs> Gonna get a new one soon, I guess. Um, but yeah, yeah. I think uh, I convince people. <laughs> cool. That's nice, right? We we like to have new things, new proposals. Make us think. Maybe next year. Yeah. When the artist comes, there is four or five spray cans. Oh, from the guns, nice. <laughs> waiting for them, just in case. Uh, let us know more about this this piece because, um, yeah, there is this square, <laughs> Instagram kind of. Yeah. So so spot. what so Let's what we have is we have about three girls and about these three girls are all the same girl. So it's a bit. Uh, uh, it's it's just a little. Thank you for our current lockdown generation. So it's not really about virus and blah, blah, blah. It's just a, the generation that has like um, the teenagers, you know, they had to normally socialize a lot and all of a sudden are locked down together with themselves. So it's like a friend group, just uh, one person with herself together. And um, so you can see it's, it's, it's a happy thing, you know, it's, it's positive, but uh, still it's like, Don't forget them, um, because I feel like they got forgotten a bit. That's, uh, That's referencing the two years of COVID. In a sense, yeah, like yeah. The, the lockdown. So yeah. the specifically like what what these the, the kids or like the teenagers that normally, yeah, like what they sacrifice in that sense. And I feel like that is a bit... You uh, can say anything you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially no, no. <laughs> about the old persons. <laughs> Yeah, they came just a second ago. They came a group by and they, they did not understand it. And that's literally my point. So they were like, oh, yeah, it's very pretty. It's very nice. But what are these squares that are locked in? And I added the squares because that is like the facial recognition. If you hold the camera up, it's like the digitalized world that you have. Because that was the main social connection that you got. It was fully digital, you know, like Zoom meeting, school, full on school, teaching, all like digital, meeting friends, playing games online. That's the only way of social interaction that, that was possible. So, uh, yeah, so it's just like a little bit of attention on, on them because I feel like otherwise they only got like the bad attention. So maybe something good now. Eh? <laughs> That's true, huh? because we got a lot of uh, artists have been referencing the people from the health departments and any kind of of them and uh, so there was a lot of attention for for those persons but uh, that's true it's the youth were yeah okay it's you should you, you, you have to you do should, that yeah. you, know, you have to do that it's not we don't even have to thank you to yeah, exactly. for being you know and you, you sacrifice a lot sacrificing have a, a lot of have a very little risk of getting like really seriously ill and so it's just all solidarity which is of course a very important and and uh, valid concept however then there is a very now it's time for thank you <laughs> you know yeah so and the people were it's especially it's super true here in France because we are in a in a election time now really mm. strong election times and uh And that, so we got all the stats and everything, and that they're showing that most of the old persons yeah. are voting for the 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 power in place that is definitely sacrificing the youth and mm. the future of health and uh, and the future of the planet. Yeah, yeah. And so there's nothing for them. And now they are starting to. To wake up, you know, starting to 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 I don't know, Change empowering the themselves yeah. to to show that yeah no we want to be part of exactly yeah. what's happening next, you know. So I will yeah uh, really see this piece like okay the time. new generation <laughs> is coming yes, exactly. and the new generation needs to take the control yeah. of the world. They're gonna live in. I mean, you're a young person. You're 27, so it's I don't know. It's your world, so it's really important. It's, of so course, it's also it's, it's a piece from the soul as well. I mean, it's not that I'm, I was fully uh, not not uh, affected at all. I had similar yeah, similar yeah. situations. So yes, of course, it's also about me. <laughs> a bit so of ego in there. <laughs> you were. Where were you during this uh, lockdown? I was. Uh, I moved freshly to the Netherlands. So uh, new city. Don't know anybody. Was a was bit hard. tough at the beginning, but it became quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> but like the, but yeah, it was not not easy, I guess. Where did you move? 
Hmm? Why did you move to the Netherlands? Um, yeah, everything was locked down, so a lot of my jobs got cancelled. Uh, not many possibilities to work, um, and everything was very like all the painting projects were put on like a maybe level, yeah. you know. So you just gotta maybe we do it, and uh, please just wait, hold. Uh, but nothing happened for for months. So then I decided I just gonna go continue studying, go to to the Netherlands just to continue there to study. Yes. So I studied psychology. <laughs> so you're both a student and an artist. Yeah, like you not know? a student anymore, but I was just for the time. And yeah. Um, but yeah, just now I'm back to being fully an artist, but uh, maybe a bit more smarter. <laughs> I, well, I'm sure. <laughs> so how is it going here? Mm, so today is the last little tips and taps, I think. So the point about this is I guess you can always add more so it's it's never finished but um so what I'm trying to do now is try to squeeze in the parts that I think are important for me you know like the thumb over there is still a bit clunky and these few little things I want to fix them up so that it can convey the idea I have you know that it you you're not gonna be uh, not gonna look straight at a little mistake or something, so you can really look at my message, my idea, and also maybe a pretty painting. <laughs> so we really need you to write us a statement about this piece. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> it's important to share the message, mm -hmm. and especially when it's not obvious, you know, it's important. As, to I, as, I, as I heard, there will also be like a plate explaining it on the wall. Oh yeah, from the from the mayor. The mayor want to to add this. Yes, okay. or even even nicer was the the kids in the uh, in the you know I don't really know how to say it. It's like the kids that take part in the discussion, and they said we want a plate explaining the the story. So I, I thought like this is really my point. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so usually it's not coming from the city hall, but uh, from the citizens. Yes, <laughs> so, <laughs> we want that, and, uh, please. <laughs> excellent. So, but. You know that many people are gonna ask us, but why didn't finish? He left this white line, you know, the white line over yeah. there. So for it's it has a couple of reasons. First of all, it's I love white lines. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's also one of the easiest. But also, it's um, for me it has uh, the advantage of I can create more depth. So I can make what I said earlier the same with the with the distance. Um, it just makes the it's otherwise you have a hand coming down at you and like this it's a bit you have more layers going backwards and not to the front mm -hmm. so because what's important to me is that it's also something nice to perceive and it's not intimidating because it's big it's huge people and you don't want them to be intimidating and you know it should be perceived nice and easy and should go down easy so you can think about it okay and uh, so that's why i added and you have a bit of dynamics and yeah. movement, of course <laughs> that's cool <laughs> it structures the picture the contrast between the round body body shapes to the straight lines organic exactly um, super geometric space okay and you're just finishing with a nice little instagrammable Little Beauty. cat on the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, I think on the on a sketch I prepared, uh, there was, um, I think I, I looked before and there was like a big box there. So I thought there is nothing to paint there. It's just there's a there's a house standing in front of like a box standing in front of the wall. And when I arrived here, there was no box. There was just a huge, beautiful white wall. So I thought like I really have to add something. Um, and then I thought. <laughs> It fits together, fits the story, you know, the cat at home. It's like, like part of the friend group, that's okay, you know. <laughs> Can still go in there and it's a fast little add-on. <laughs> that that's just why the cat is, is over there. It's not yeah. because of any Banksy no, quotes. No, no, no big big, uh, big <laughs> statements. And it's a bit of like, you know, that's as you said, it's Instagram. You know, it's nice for the people so they can be no. like, oh yeah, funny, have yeah, fun. It's, it's not really part of the main thing. It's a little add-on on the site. I'm just afraid that it will be turned more popular than the whole piece. Yeah, I <laughs> you know. You take a risk. Yeah, I thought about it. But that's why the eyes are closed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's always like this, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> So thank you for being here, and um, we are really sorry so that we make the artist unable to work on Monday. <laughs> and uh, so tell us a little bit about your day of yesterday. Yeah, I just just thought like I really want to add something here because <laughs> yesterday we had Oxiday, okay? And Oxiday um, means we do nothing and uh, we we're not allowed to paint, and we go. We go do crazy things, and uh, yesterday we went uh, paragliding, and um, for me, super crazy. 
it was literally a first time for me and I've, I've wanted to do it for quite some time. And I mean, doing paragliding is a nice thing, but then doing paragliding here, you know, in between all the mountains and this landscape, it's insane. So it was a crazy experience. So yeah, a day without painting, but then otherwise it's first flying. So you jump from the mountain and then afterwards you jump in the lake next to like perfect 33 degrees. So I think it was a, an amazing day to rest, to be like super fresh and excited for today again. And it, uh, yeah, I really loved yesterday together with all, all the right. other artists and very nice, nice time. Cool. <laughs> Thank you again. Yeah, that's, that's all pleasure, but it's, uh, it's the first year we are doing that. So mm -hmm. it's good to have a, nah, a fresh I feedback. Cannot. Okay, Jack. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs>